Hey there, welcome to day 222 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Hornell from here. And today we are talking about, we're continuing our journey through an area of confidence growth or confidence that we want to improve in ourselves. I picked solo travel and Donald in guide to the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page is using public speaking and presentation skills. He wanted to improve those skills in order to be a better communicator, in order to feel more confident in his communication and that people were seeing him as a leader and etc. So that's all in guide two of our private Facebook group page. Uh, I am going to share and he used tools and what I like about using chat BT, but don't like about it. Uh, number one is it gives great suggestions and it shows different ways and using different tools in each of the different steps of the SOAP framework. Now, Donald used SWOT analysis, mind mapping, cost benefit analysis, and decision matrix to analyze alternatives, the alternatives that he came up in his brainstorming session yesterday of what he could possibly do to fill the gap between where he is with respect to presentation styles and, and delivery and where he wants to be. It's same with public speaking, where he is and where he wants to be. So you can do it that way. And I like it because it shows that I can use, actually use the SWOT analysis tool for any one of the steps in this process. We can use mind mapping for any one of the steps in this process. So that's what Donald did, but what I'm using is an analysis tool that I dubbed the urine analysis, which is probably not the best name, but it's really easy to remember. Urine analysis, right? Or, or the urine tool. I don't know which is worse. So what does that stand for? We, we take the three possibilities, the three options, the three alternatives we came up with yesterday, and mine were solo travel course, take one of those, look for one and take one, explore tools and aids available for solo travelers, especially solo travelers with a, a, a disability or a difference. And then finally, step three was plan a trip. So I'm gonna analyze each of those three possibilities using this tool. Asking myself, is it urgent? Do, what resources do I have or need to make it happen? Is it important? Is it necessary? And how much energy or effort am I gonna have to put into this thing, this step, to actually take action and move forward on it. So when I do this, when I rate my alternatives, I usually rate them across the top and then I use each of these and I give them a number between one and three or how many ever alternatives I have. In this case, I'm only analyzing three alternatives. So I'll give three, the most important number two, urgent, important, and necessary. Then the ones for resources and energy. I've got orange stars by those because those are kind of just the opposite, right? But I, I only want to create one tool. So those, the ones that take the most energy, the ones that require the most resources are going to get the lowest number instead of highest. So it's a little confusing, but once you use it, it's just automatic for me now to go ahead and rate my options this way. I have not done mine yet. I'll make a little grid in my uh Growth journal, my my annual challenge, let's grow annual challenge growth journal. I, I don't have, let's see if I wrote it on there. I've got let's grow annual challenge on the cover. That's it. I was labeling it my mom's and looking for something to do. So I'll have to ask myself if I'm, for each of those alternatives, is it urgent? What resources are required? I mean, if it's a $5,000 online course, that's as much as making and taking a, a, a solo trip. So which one would I get more lessons learned and more value out of? Probably for me, taking the solo trip. So as far as resources go, it works out to be about the same. So then that means the actual planning trip and going on a solo trip would, would maybe win out. So that's our tool for today. We've used this tool throughout the last four years. So there's lots of examples of it, either in the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page or in the Get Up and Go Challenge private Facebook page where we used it. I don't know if we used it every other month. Probably not. I don't even know when I came up with it. it might have been 2021 for all I remember. Anyway, that is our challenge for today. Analyze alternatives and take action. Take one step on your action or the option that you selected today, not next week, not in a month, not in a year, right now today, because we want to fix this now so we can set a goal for our confidence to improve our confidence this month and achieve it by the end of the year. All right. Any questions? What do you do? You ask. Otherwise, have a fabulous day. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow for another daily Let's Grow Annual Challenge action item.
go take some action and I'll of course be with you tomorrow.